Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's yours truly, Asher J. Bell. And today, I want to start with a few focal points on how to start a business. And I'm going to run through this quickly. The first thing you need to do is ask yourself a few questions. What is your why? Why do you want to do what you want to do? What is it that you want to do? And what will your purpose be? The second thing you want to ask yourself is what problem will you solve? This is going to be very important because when you solve a problem, you're actually able to provide a solution. And with that solution, you're able to bring value to your consumer, your client, or your customer. Number three, what's your niche or what's your industry? You have to figure out exactly what you want to do, and that's going to determine what niche or what industry you're going to fall into. Who is your target market? Who are you going to serve? Is it going to be kids? Is it going to be adolescents? Is it going to be adults? Is it going to be seniors? Is it going to be everybody? But you want to laser focus into who your target market is going to be. Five, this is the most critical step is what's your plan? You need to have a business plan in place on paper, something that someone can review. And also get a mentor. Get somebody who's successful in your industry. Get some guidance. Get some leadership to help you create your plan and make sure it's bulletproof. Number six, you're going to need to choose your entity. There are a few entities that you can choose, but you should get with a business attorney or get with a CPA because there are different types of tax benefits and liabilities with the entity that you'll choose. Few of them to mention our corporation, there's C-Corps, there's S-Corps, LLCs, and LLPs. These aren't all of them, but these are a few. You're going to also have to create your DBA. DBA stands for doing business as. What's your name going to be? This is how people are going to recognize you, and this is how you're going to build your brand. Number eight, if your business requires a license, you're going to need to obtain that license. Certificates also show your client, your consumer, or your customer that you've taken the extra step to further your education within that field to be the subject matter expert and it builds confidence. Also, you might need to gather permits if you're serving things like food. Not all businesses require any of these, but it does help to show that you went an extra step to make sure that you are the expert in your field. Nine, this one's extremely important. You're going to need to gather your resources, acquire the partnerships or relationships, or obtain funding if needed. If you have a startup or if you have a brand new idea or a brand new product that you want to bring into the world, well, you might need some funding to do that. And there's different types of ways to raise funding. You can do Kickstarter, you can do GoFundMe, or you can do seed rounds with investors and pitch your product idea to investors and continue to do different rounds to obtain funding. Number 10, the business launch. Now, I've named a few things here which circles back into your plan, but you have to create a marketing plan and a marketing strategy and also marketing materials. How are you going to drive your business out to the world? How are people going to get to see you and see what you have to offer and understand your product or service? You're going to do this through your marketing efforts. Also, you're going to need a prospecting strategy, business development, because if you don't have sales, you don't have a business. How are you going to develop business? How are you going to drive customers in to your website, to your social media platform? What is your strategy going to be? This is going to be key of how you're going to drive traffic into your business or your platform so you can actually get paying customers, get a client to hire you. Now you have to build your business, which is the hardest step, getting your business off the ground. This is going to take some hard work, it's going to take some grit, and it's going to take some hustle. Work ethic is imperative. There is nothing more important outside of these steps than having a work ethic to execute on these steps. If you don't know how to build a business or you want to build a business, Join my team. I will show you how to build a business, how to drive your business, and how to automate your business. If this was helpful, drop some comments in the chat below. And if you're looking to join a team and you're ready to invest in yourself, then I'm ready to invest in you. 
That's my time, ladies and gentlemen. Sign down, checking. It is yours truly, Asher J. Bell.